Alrighty guys, I don't know what mode the camera's in here. It's giving me all kinds of fits, but uh, the I had ordered parts for the 272 waiting for an air filter. Uh, so I'm waiting for that to come in on eBay. Uh, I got a 501 I gotta do too, but I wanted I've had this sitting around for three, four months. I wanted to quick bust this out. I'm probably not gonna do no performance work to it. Um it uh I noticed when I tore it down, it had a new clutch in spur bracket uh, aftermarket. But uh, the coal failure, the reason this saw uh, quit running is whoever installed that uh, spur bracket and clutch stuck a screwdriver through the exhaust port to wedge up the piston. You can see here where they they, they marred it all up, and uh, you know that's the perfect width of a screwdriver. And uh, they apparently did that instead of putting a rope in the cylinder like any normal person would do. They they chipped the cylinder all out, took a big chunk of nickel out uh, above the exhaust port there and ruined the, ruined the saw. Uh, all for, you know, not knowing what they're doing. But, you know, if you guys are locking your cylinders up, don't don't use these god forbid uh, don't use these you throw that through your plug hole and start reefing on it you're going to poke a hole right through your piston I've seen it done time and time again just fill your cylinder with starter rope so all you got to do is make sure the piston's up far enough where it, it's that you can't get anything down the exhaust port pack it full works like a charm it's safe it spreads the load out over the whole piston just much better way to go but I just thought uh, I would uh, bring this along I might be able to go in there and give this thing a really big chamfer I might might be able to chamfer that out and get this thing going for uh, get me by so I don't know I don't know how much I want to uh, dump into it. I've got that red barn piston around here somewhere that I didn't like. Uh, maybe this would be a good one to throw in here and make it go away. Yeah. Maybe we'll do that. Maybe I'll throw this. I'll chamfer this up and try to salvage this. Uh, chances are it's just going to go get beat up at a good for a tree service anyway so but uh, yeah that's a good example of what not to do to your chainsaw stuff a screwdriver in your exhaust port it's just not a good way to do things but uh, I just thought I'd sh share that with you what happens if you do this is a prime example and then it stuck that ring lost its compression it wouldn't run so, alright, you guys have a good one.